For those of you wondering how we got from the sewers to all the way up here, we thought we were recording video, but then Cole realized we weren't recording video, despite the fact that he pressed the button to record video. I'm glad I realized it really quick, though. Yeah, that could have been terrible. Almost as bad as the time we recorded the uh, audio for that Dead Space 2 playthrough, and then realized we didn't record the audio at all. <laughs> Yeah, that happened. Right, so someone's mo someone is robbing the uh, pub, and those guys work for Nigel Ferret. So we're going to walk in here. Oh, he's here. And we're going to pound their butt with a hammer until they die. Cool. Just like the way Lincoln went out. What? If you cooperate, Whoa! Get if you give us any trouble, what did I tell you? We'll kill you. Now. Just so you know, we mean so look, he wants them. He wants someone to make a, a problem so he can kill them as an example. Okay. I just got two thousand quid for something. God damn it! <laughs> God damn it! Because I'm getting money for nothing, or God damn it because I keep calling it quid. A little bit of both. Go me, go me, you know. Just wait in here and kill everything with a sword. Can you see my devil wings yet or not? I don't see devil wings. Are they are they supposed to be really big? Yeah. Remember the ones that Teresa showed us? Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't see devil wings. Wait, I do this. I think I saw. Oh, there's my horns. You can see my horns. Wow. Rules of nature. By the way, that was not a silver key. That was just a one-time use. Key. Yeah, I saw it. So yeah, guess what? What? More sewers. Cool. Actually, this one's, I think this one's a warehouse. But we gotta go look at the portal reference. There's a portal reference in this game? Yep. Isn't there oh, a I can't wait to see that. Isn't there a portal reference in every game? Yeah, pretty much. Like, that's documented proof in every single game. Someone's talking about it. Because that game is so good. It is so good. No, it is the hideout. Not a warehouse. The hideout. For those of you who don't know, if you turn the camera in the first cutscene of Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes, you will see a small orange portal and a small blue portal in the in the helicopter. Wait, what? Not true. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately! Start to say, that's not true! Hey look, it's Nigel Farad, and he just phased in through time space. Hey look, I'm in the way! Yeah, you are. Look at my sleeves. Look at them. <laughs> Look at them. They're standing on my bosoms. I'm not. You really are. I'm not. Wait. Look at my butt. Bosoms. Expeditiously. <laughs> Can I steal these dudes yet? Or what? So this guy has a very like opulent, like posh, you know, way of talking. Yeah. And wouldn't you know it, the guys that he Oh! What'd you do? Just did a cool animation. Like that. Ah. So now you're using the like cheese method of just shoot everything in hopes to get uh -oh. taller. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't think I've ever seen red on the screen Health before. Potion. Just Ooh. press right. Ooh. Press right. There we go. I all think that's the first now. time I've ever done that. It's all better now. It's all better now. Capture Save ferret. Wait, there's a thing down here. What? What's the... There's a good thing down here. Come down here and open this door, maybe. Where are you? I took the door okay, off the side. Oh, you cannot... Oh, this is where we came. Never mind. It looked different because we moved around. Also, we didn't kill these guys. Oh! Yeah. Murder. No, there's a side door. What the hell? Yeah, this is the way to go. Smash the buttons. Oh, can you sleep on these? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Why would you? Why would you though? I don't know. Oh, let's go. It's over here. Meat pie. I found tofu. 
It's a health item. Tofu? Food is a health item. All forms of food. Health. They kidnapped me. Let this dude out. What? He let these, he let these out. Why? For one thing, he's being held prisoner by a criminal. I'm fairly wow, certain he's probably a good right. guy. Ah! They have grenades? Yeah. That's new. Goals of nature. Zenbone Zakura Kiyoshi. Does that not look hype or what? It looks pretty good. See if you can open this door. What door? I don't know how they opened it. What do we got down here? Chicken uh, in a cage? So it's a chicken out. It's really Igor the murder chicken. Look, the cake! Wait, what? I completely missed it. There's your cake. How do you... How Wait, is even, this a floral wrap? Even better. Look at that box. Oh, wow. Yep. The silver Pretty. key note. The one missable silver key in the entire game. Over here. I don't know how infuriating that is to the person who missed that the first time. Yeah, I bet. Okay, where are we going? Okay, this way? Yeah, I guess we came down here to see the portal thing. Everyone loves the companion cube. Everybody loves portal. That hob loves portal. See how much you love portal? Yeah, I saw it. Somewhere around here there's a port. there's actually a portal that has a blue screen of death in it. Because it doesn't work. Is that true? Yeah. So it's just an orange portal that's the blue screen of death inside? Yeah. I think it's... I don't remember where to find it. Also, he locked himself in an impenetrable cage. Please tell me you can see where this is going. I think I can see where this is going. Meanwhile, <laughs> I hope I'm right. But now we have to fight the twins. Ah! 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 Fire! We Stop jumping fight, roll! We have to fight the twins from Arkham City. One throws bombs, the other is just straight up using magic. Mr. Hammer! And Sickle! Well, they're both using magic. Well, they are now. But just straight up, that the, this guy right here was just throwing grenades that he lit off of his own uh, pipe. And they're both dead. dead. Just like Mr. Hammer and Mr. Sickle. They're not dead, though. Yeah, I murdered them. You didn't? Intellect notwithstanding. It would what? Rules of nature. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, he picked the wrong cage, and now he's stuck there. Great. So it's about where I thought it was going. But, uh, you know, he's, a uh, he's a rich guy. Yeah. You have a, ki you have a kingdom pr to protect with your gold coins. Uh-huh. You have to get enough gold coins to throw out the monsters to kill them. You have nothing to yeah. Offer, and, uh, you know, he's got a bit of walking around money. He happens to have on his person a substantial quantity of currency. Yeah. He does. Yeah, he does. That he will give to you for the sake of letting him out. It's only a hundred thousand, but it's a hundred thousand you don't have. Uh, or you can reject him, which costs you nothing. I still want to be a good guy, though. But you realize the good guy option is let him stay in this cage and die of dehydration and starvation, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I totally do. You thought I was kidding about that earlier, didn't you? <laughs> well, that's all there is to do today. Yep. Get out of here, guys. There's a chest right behind us. Was there? Yep. Great. It wouldn't have mattered, though. Nope. It probably had his 100,000 gold coins in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Imagine the egg on his face. 
Alright, so now we have like 250 days left. I'm sorry to say we are falling well short oh. of expectations. The treasury holds nowhere near enough gold. I know. The kingdom demands your attention. So you then immediately give me a decision. A right. On so based on our money. To remove the drink limit. That costs money because of property damage. This has proved a rather unpopular measure. Yeah. And yet many Wait, I I don't understand what he's asking me. Uh, there's a limit on how many drinks someone can buy in a day under Logan's laws. But you can remove that and let people drink freely, which means you know they'll be buying more alcohol and being a little bit happier with their lives. But you lose the taxes that you would have had you would have had from them only being able to buy so many a day and it being heavily taxed. And there will be property damage. Not to mention the fact that if you remove the drink limit, at random you'll walk across drunk NPCs all over the place that will just vomit in the streets. You can outlaw alcohol altogether for the public and only make it available to those who can afford it on a much, much higher basis, a.k.a. the very rich. Or you can keep the drink with the exact same and not lose money, but not gain money. And remember, uh, a lot of the things about this are based on the society of like medieval times, no and such like that, that when drinking alcohol was safer than drinking water. Because the alcohol would kill germs, and water had germs in it. Well, so what are you going to do? Let's remove the drink limit, I guess. If only we had if only we had let that criminal live. Could have, he could have paid for everyone's drinking. I know, right? He could have bought a round for the house, so to speak. All the houses, really. All of the houses. So much house. <laughs> Just so <slowly spinning. laughs> All right, so rule the possible reopening of the Brightwell Academy. Consider the proposal to drain Bower Lake and meet with a concerned but wealthy citizen. Uh, so decision, decision, quest. How are we gonna grind this out tonight? Uh, trust me, it's trust me. You know, it's much faster than you think it will go. Uh, which one do we need to do first? We have to do them in order. Oh, wait, You really? have to go to the throne room to make the two decisions first, and then we can go to the quest. Okay. Yeah, that's the... weird that you have to do that in order. Yeah, well, that's the daily schedule. You, know, you read the schedule from top to bottom. True. Why does it keep sending me to this door when that's not the way out? I don't know. That door leads to nothing. This person okay. has a fish for you. What? what? Too late? People who like you because you are the king will give you a gift. Every once in a while. That's, one, that's the most common way of getting the chef hat, is to be friends with the uh, chefs in the uh, castle here. And they'll give you the chef hat. So, keep your promise. Open the academy. 150,000 bones. Golden bones. Made of points. Yeah. I already made a promise to this guy, right? Yeah. Well, I better keep a promise then. The promise you kept was to reopen it as a free academy. Reaver wants to reopen it as well, but he wants to charge people for it. So only the rich would have the money to learn. Right. But Reaver's a dick whose option is floating through his hat, so fuck him. Right. Literally, it was floating through his hat. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. I saw the button option clipped through his hat. <laughs> he has a really big hat. Thank you, Your Majesty. This is the start of a new. So now you only have thirty thousand gold coins. I know, but at least I'm not in debt. <laughs> I say that now. The next option is whether or not to drain the Bower Lake, which is the lake outside Reaver's house. To uh, mine the precious minerals underneath the surface of the water. Uh huh. 
or to make it a nature preserve. It's tough to tell which one is the bad option in that situation. Well, would you, do, would you rather preserve nature for the generations to come? I would rather do that, I suppose. Or would you rather strip mine the place so you can save the few generations to come? Wait. That's, the, that's always the options here. It's the bad option is a bad option, but you need to do it because you need cash. So, Reaver wants to strip mine the lake to make money. Page wants to save the lake and their surrounding habitat as a nature reserve. Now, to reject the proposal will cost you more money than you have. Yeah. So you're gonna be going. I won't be that far into debt, though. You say that, but it's fifteen thousand gold coins. Yeah. And the only reason you had as much money starting this back off as you did was because last time we played, I gave you a hundred thousand gold coins. Let's go ahead and reject the proposal. Because you're going to anyway. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So just go ahead. Just get rid of that. Get that out of the way. Don't even listen to him. Just press A. You do it right now. I'm trying. Like, oh. oh, there it goes. Look at these shin guards. <laughs> My knee pads. We must protect our natural resources. Despite the fact the only good natural resources are good for is to, you know, use. <laughs> By the way, in case you've noticed, it's a whole lot of one or the other forever, apparently. Yeah. I don't see a problem with draining the lake, strip mining it, and then filling the lake back in. Do you? But that's not an option. It's either the lake is a big pit for the rest of forever, or nothing happens to the lake. Why can't you raise taxes for one year? I mean, next year you're going to reset the tax policy anyway. Yeah. You know, hike it up a bit this year, and we'll save a few lives. I'm sure everyone would understand. But now we're back to the giant money pit. So to speak. It really should be a pit. I think it'd be great if it was a pit. <laughs> it's like somehow, like, the, the, the dog... The dog just has so much room to play in here. Look at him. He's so high. He's so high for this, all this play area. You might as well put the dog a bunch of pillows in here for the dog to sleep in. Because there's nothing else is going to be in here. Nope. I don't know. We might, we're going to go get 150 grand, though, from this rich girl. So okay. Fine. Let's go. Where is she? She's in Millfields. Is that far? Uh, Should we fast travel? Sure. We can go look at that lake you saved. <laughs> Wait, what? By the way, you can just use this table right here to fast travel. Oh, no wonder it took me here. <laughs> what? Jeez. Oh, the game is broken, I guess. What is going on? I don't know. Let's walk out of, let's walk out of the map room. Yeah... Get away from that mess. What in the world? Now I'm trying to go to the sanctuary. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Let's walk outside the entire castle. Man, imagine how much fun it would be to fight in this room. Look at it all. Yeah. This would be a cool fighting arena. What? I don't know. I think we may have broken the game somehow. Let's leave the area entirely. Leave the castle. Just walk out. Peace. Peace! Oh, this looks nice. It does. Look at hit a giant invisible wall. It's, nothing's there. Right. I gotta run back out. And run back in. Run back in. You have to run out too. You went too far. Run back out until it stops saying Bower Stone Market. This is so dumb. Yeah. Run back in. <sighs> Together this time. God damn it! A lot of swearing today. I know. It's not like you. It's really not. Right, you go. Then I'll go. Slowly. It's not working. 
It's not. It's not. He broke the game. Oh my god. Okay, I can pause the game. Can you pause the game? No. No! What is this? I'm going to save and continue. And then I'm going to, uh. do some things. What are you. Gun. What are you. No! Don't do it! Well, you can stop me. Or can you? Come on, let's try this thing again! I forget whether or not PvP is even a thing you can do in this game. Can you favorite? Pull out your gun and press down on the D-pad. Walk close, walk close to a uh, civilian over here. Press down on your D-pad. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! What? Is this our kid? No. <laughs> What's whoa. happening? This is Luisa the Villager. Uh -huh. Little black girl. Our kid is named Luis the Black Girl, Luis the Villager, and a little black girl. I guess he's not. Our That's kid. not our kid. All right, now pull out, pull, out, pull out a weapon. Press down. That press down on the D-pad. I'm doing it on the D-pad. Really? Yeah. Wow, you broke the game. Game is broken. Confirmed. This isn't a reason to stop playing. I don't know what is. I tell you. Whoa! <laughs> oh, Look at all these guards just kind of tumbling out. Oh my! God. Oh, spin move. You see that? No. I've I've been <laughs> I've been. Look at all these guards. Eleven counts of murder. <laughs> They're still coming. Here comes another one. <laughs> Stop! Nope. <laughs> Rules of nature. <laughs> the Bowerstone Castle massacre. Uh, Brian? <laughs> Are they just walking up to us? Well, that's all, the people, that's all the people that were here, I guess? I guess? Please, let's try to walk through here again. The good news is if I kill that guy with a gift over his head, it should give you a gift automatically. Oh, uh, yeah, I just got something. Oh! Yeah! Oh! I did it! I'm amazing! <laughs> Praise me! Ruby. Flowers. Ruby! Let's get out of here. Let's get the hell out of here! My constant murder fixed everything. <laughs> Aren't I amazing? <laughs> what is going on with this game? <laughs> well, 6.5 million people are going to die. And... I've made sure that number's a little bit less by killing them before they have the chance. Yeah. Aren't I amazing? You're pretty amazing, I guess. I'm lowering the casualty account of the final pound. Rolls us isn't on my screen. Just, just run this way. Oh no, I just thought of something. What? We never did the quest to restore the bridge ah! that leads to the area where we have to go. Is that bad? Well, we kind of have to go to this place, so it's either going to give us the option to do the quest here, or it's not, and we're going to have to, and we've broken the game. Oh man, I hope we broke the, we seriously broke the game. That would be <laughs> fantastic. Come dude. on, let's go find out. We have to kill the dudes. Okay, okay, let's kill the dudes real quick. Let's murder the murderers. Are they all dead? No, there's a big dude left. All right, ah. mur murder accomplished. Let's go. <clears throat> let's go see what's what. Now, if the game was designed well, if, yeah, if, 
Now, what would happen here is we would walk up to the thing, and the guy would still be there, ready to give us the quest. Oh, by the way, Balverines. Oi! Right. These guys! Werewolves. That was weird. On my screen, I do a cool animation of killing this guy, like a cool lunge move. Whoa! But on your screen, I just stand there and he dies. Yeah. It wasn't great. So, uh, by the way, what the thing we're gonna go do is it related to Valve Rings. Cool. I'm uh, down with it. Cole, have you ever read the book, Fable 3, The Order of the White Valve Ring? No. Should you read the book? I have it. I love it. No. Look, that guy's a vomiting. Because they're drunk. Good job, Cole. Yeah, go me. Go ninja, go ninja, ninja go. go. Look, I know where the thief is. You, you Ross Ninja, Kalabanga man. Go ninja, go ninja, go. Go ninja, go ninja, go. You see the SpaghettiOs commercial? What? They're making. They've made SpaghettiOs in the shape of uh, Ninja Turtles. That was macaroni. Was it? Yeah. Uh -huh. But yeah, I saw it. That was a dumb. Majesty, it was great though. Here, like they did, like just some random like Walmart employee I macking on some kid's mom right in front of the kid, and the kid just goes, no. the <laughs> Right, so we're get, so yeah. someone stole her family heirloom of a white statue of a Balverine. Yeah. Remember I told you about white Balverine yeah. and how they're bad. It's going the other way now. Yeah. Wait, or is it going back to her? It's going back to her. I'm going to stand on the thing. Well, let's we'll stand on the thing then. I know you she had to finish the dialogue. Yep. Great. Let's go see if this bridge is here, or if we have to build it. Of course is this. No, 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 you know what? I forgot entirely. That takes, It goes to an entirely different optional area. Well, I'm an idiot. <laughs> the good news is we're going to go take out the head werewolf. Oh, oh. Sounds cool. So this area we're going into right now is called Silver Pines. This is like the one area I never explore because there's no reason to. Find the thief. What Despite the fact, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that guy. That's a white Balverine. Uh oh, so. I might change weapons for this, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna change weapons. What? Okay, I'm gonna check what are you weapons. doing? Changing weapons. I have a hammer that's good against Balverines. Ah, I see. Well, it will be as soon as I kill enough Balverines. So, what level of magic are you doing? I can do. I don't even know. You use fireball and blades, right? Uh huh. Fire blades. I'll use that for the rest of the thing. Let's just magic it up right here, right now. Oh, that was such a big swirl. Come on. It'll take you a while. There it goes. That's max. Ready? Yeah. Three, two. One, go! Yeah! What did it attack? That bottle. Um, that bottle was gonna get us. It's gonna wait till it turns around, it's gonna shoot us. Oh no. Wait. The bottle's not going Oh, you gotta read the thing. Did you read the thing? No. You read the thing. That Balverine left us a note. Uh, yeah, I think you need to walk back over here. But you're standing right there. That werewolf left us a note. Uh,. Oh, I can't. The oh, there it is. Oh, follow the white Balverine. Oh, I thought we were going to do anyway, but sure, why not? Let's go this way. Look, there's the Balverine. Where? He was on this rock and he jumped off. Oh. I didn't see him. He, the, ba the damn thing blends really well into this environment. It's all foggy and crappy. You wouldn't think he would. But no, he does. It's perfect, actually. Where is it? The dogs are freaking the hell out. Yeah, they are. That was a dick spot. Oh, 
What you got? I don't know. A big shiny hammer. Yep. I'm gonna shine in the moonlight. 400 gold? Yeah, 400. Suck it, nerd. <laughs> I am so much better than you in this game. I'm a millionaire. Yeah. I dumped your sorry ass. That was great. Does that really make you better? Ah! <laughs> I don't jump at every little jump scare they throw at you? Yeah. You know. Just little things that make you so much better in this game than you. I can kill everything without trying? Hey, white Wolverine guy. Aw. Riding evil by moonlight. Oh, by day. Whoa! Who's this? He's the guy that lives here. Oh, I'm so sorry. He thought you were a Balverine. They realized you weren't a Balverine. Realized after he shot at you. Oh, by the way, they're burning silver to keep the werewolves away. Ah. In case you were like, clear, these were werewolves. So if those lamps go out, the if the lamps go out, the werewolves come. Right. Are we gonna have to go find a bunch of silver? No, we're gonna go find a bunch of werewolves. <laughs> On my screen, it looks terrible because it's just standing there, and then suddenly he just flies straight up. He doesn't jump. Floats <laughs> at rapid speed straight into the air. I'm sure that looked good. Oh! Look well, this, is, big evil this thing. is a thing. So you just saw like, that Balverine jump up and disappear. Yeah. But here's this dude. Think about that for a second. Ah! Your Majesty, I've been expecting you. Been through the village, have you? Charming this guy looks like a werewolf. Yeah. I wonder why. I wonder why indeed. I wonder why the note talked in his voice. Did it? Yep. Well, that's dumb. Alright, so... The statue of a werewolf that has a legend about it. And what does it do? What do you think it does? It turns people into werewolves? It turns people into the white Valverine. And the white Valverine is always the pack. So... He used to live in the village. At one point he was on guard duty. One of the lamps went out and he was asleep. He was supposed to be watching it. He fell asleep because watching a lamp burn all night is boring. Yeah. And so they uh, kicked him out to die in the forest. But instead of doing that, he stole a legendary statue and became the White Balverine. So now we can either go break those torches for him and his Balverine buddies, or we can tell him to fuck right off. What do you think I'm going to do? You, sir, can fuck right off the edge of my dick. So, the Valverine is still going to attack. Yeah. But the only thing that'll be different is now they're going to attack the torches as well. And the small ones are going to attack the torches and die. And once all the torches are gone. So, you see his hands totally turned into claws right there. Yeah, he Bef transformed. Before he disappeared. That was little. I don't know if that was lazy or not. So, what happened? The whole thing of his, his hands turned into claws right there when he left. Yeah, I'm so... Still talking about the same thing here. I'm gonna eat my tofu. <laughs> well, we gotta go back to the village. Well, I'm sure they're fine. That guy had a cool gun. He did have a cool gun. I like Melvin's. We should probably kill them before they get back to the village. Yeah, my hammer can just like smash these dudes in two hits. Boosh! Boosh! 
It's so dumb on your screen that nothing's happening. I can't even tell though. Well, on my screen, I just reared back and clubbed the Balverine over the head a few times with giant swings. On your screen, I was standing there and the Balverine's head exploded into guild seals. <laughs> so I like how the, okay. like the villagers are just standing here at this point. And... Lacking. Game is really freaking out right now. It's really freaking out right now. At least, at least we look cool while while it's going on. Hi, the bell is still there. Oh, stop it! I say stop it! Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> that was like nine knives. Smash the B button and forward. Oh, it's doing it again. That happens. That hasn't happened for a while, actually. What's that? I'm not holding the button. Oh, there, no. There's a. Oh wait. With the white Balverine is that this white piece is highlighted? It's white I because had... it's highlighted. Yeah, I was aiming at him. Jeez. There we go. He's dead. He's dead now. He's dead. Remember that guy you killed? He's dead now. Yeah, I'm a pretty cool guy. I brought my ex-wife so with me to kill everything. You ready for a boss fight? I guess. Boom shakalaka. But all the villagers are just wandering around. Whoa! That's pretty good. Oh sh Alright, Bel White Belverine's dead. <laughs> and this one spell kills Trivial everything. Boss fights. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You saved us from Oh by by the way, we found this priceless heirloom here. Is it yours? You'll always be welcome here, should you wish to return. Oh yeah, now you can buy all the houses here. It looks like a Belverine. It's yours if you want it. Wow. That's not even me, that's the blacksmith. I know. This isn't great. I want it. Okay, let's get back to... The... Wait. I don't have the gold dust on my screen. I don't know why I don't have the gold dust. So yeah, now you can just like buy all the houses there. Not that you want to. Not that I want to. Who would want to live here? It's like don't live here, just move. Right? Right. Don't don't bother like trying to fight the Balverines. Just go where there are no Balverines. Okay, you don't have to fight them. Just go where they aren't. Like, I don't understand why people live in countries where there's nothing there but dirt. Why would... Just go. Just go. Get what you can. What little you have. Alright? The Peace Corps built you a well. Get some water. Put it in some, like, buckets or something. And can take them with you. Just go. Just leave. There's no reason to stay here. Just there's go. something over here. No. Don't he's freaking out bed? about treasure. Well, then go see what he's freaking out about about treasure. He got no. He's pointing uh, in that direction. Well, do you see a treasure? I don't see anything. Uh. Hmm. Ah, forget it. Your dog's retarded. Forget it. Good job, spark plug. <laughs> For those of you nice. who don't know, Quinn has a dog named Sparkplug. Such a dumb name. 
Oh, there's dumb dogs. Is he actually a rather intelligent dog? Nah. Look we're both ways before crossing the street. Yeah. Remember my remember that black vet that used to live around my house? Yeah. Like, missing. I remember that. She would check traffic before crossing the street. She would, she was amazing. Way, we found your thing. Here's your here's the thing back so you can give it to us. Did you recover the statue? Of course he did. He is the king, and thus infallible. Oh, this is our guy. Yeah, he he came to see what's taking you so long to collect all that money. You want to know if there's any money you didn't need. He might could you know like disperse out. So I have to give it to him first? Yeah, he's going to he's going to appraise it for us. Okay. You found it. Look. It's worth 500,000 quid. Isn't that great? No, she just oh, works. she's giving you the money that it's worth for getting it back. No, she's giving us the statue, and he's going to go sell it for us. Okay. Well, we definitely need to put it in the treasury. Yeah, you know, get rid of all that debt. Congratulations, you just made five times... Ten times the national debt. Way to go. You did it, Cole. Yeah, I did. That's all there is for today. Come on. That's the, that's the day. You know, we we seem, we seem to not get past that margin of six million casualties. Like, we have not exceeded that yet. No, we have not. We could have with a brothel, but we didn't. <laughs> oh, gee, yeah, that was terrible. That Look, wasn't it, great. Now you have little bags of money floating around as well. Look at that. Isn't that hey, adorable? Look at, that. look at these cute little money bags. How many days are left? Oh, I still have a bounty on my head. Do you? Yep. So, you can now bail out the economy. How do. What? Now the option is bail out the economy, let the economy fail, no middle ground. So Logan, being the shit tier person he is, his policies, not only did they bankrupt the kingdom, they bankrupted everyone in the kingdom. No one has money. So now the option is government stimulus. Or let the economy just fall in on itself. Well, I don't want that. What? Well, it's 500,000 quid. Uh, oh, no. I got my hands stuck in this bag. 